Hello everybody, welcome to another amazing After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and I want to go over parenting today with you. And the first rule of parenting is to not have a child unless you're ready to support one. That means not letting your parents take over your child and raise them for you. Oh, wrong parenting. Sorry about that. Well, I'm talking about the parenting here in the layer panel and up in your comp and in After Effects and everything like that. So basically what parenting does is allows you to transform other, pro other uh, layers based on a certain layer that you parent it to. So parent, so in a parenting, there is a parent, and then there is a child, or multiple children. But there is only one parent. So what I'm talking about is these. Um, what we want to do actually is have these black teardrops here follow the movement of this brown teardrop, and then we also want them these three teardrops to be independent from this uh, text here but if we move the text we want the teardrops to follow so it sounds kinda complicated but we can do that easily with parenting parenting also only works on certain properties it'll work on transform or position um, it'll work on rotation and it'll work on scale it doesn't work on things like opacity and anchor point and things like that and I'll demonstrate that later on so let's get started I'm gonna undo everything I have here and what I said before is that we wanted the black um, the black teardrops here to move along with the brown one so what we're gonna do is make the brown the parent and then the other two the child so let's come into our uh, layers panel here and look and we've got the brown on top and we got the two black ones below and so we're gonna come over here to this drop down menu where it says parent and we're gonna be able to click on it and then we're gonna be able to select the brown drop right here now that's one way to be able to parent things the, ne the other way we can parent things is by using this little spiral here and this is called a pick whip if you click on it and drag you can bring it to the layer that you want and let go of it and it creates this little whip here you let go of it and then it'll parent that way also so those are the two different ways to parent now if I try to move the uh, brown drop here both of these two are going to follow based on the anchor point of the brown drop so we can move rotation and we can move position there you go and they're both gonna follow we can move scale and it'll follow what we can't move like I said before is opacity so nothing those those other ones aren't becoming opaque or transparent I mean and we can't move anchor point now anchor point looks like it's gonna move but I'll show you that it's not really so this is when we move the anchor point but if I also click on these other two, look at the anchor points in the middle here of the black teardrops and watch how they stay with the black teardrops and they don't move. So, what do I got going on here? Yeah, there we go. So the anchor points aren't going to move. You can see that they're really they're on together. I had them both selected, so I was trying to move anchor points of all of them. But that's not. If I just move the regular the anchor point of the brown drop, it's going to not move the anchor points of the others. So just a little thing with After Effects. If you have them both clicked, it's going to start moving everything, all the anchor points together. So hopefully that made sense there. So it's just position, rotation, and scale. Now the other thing that the client wants is for us to be able to move our text and have everything follow it 
but not be able but be able to move the teardrops in the background and not have the text follow. So what we're going to do is we're going to parent the brown drop to the text. And I just used the pick whip that time. So now if I move the text around, the entire logo is going to follow. But now I can move the I can move the brown drop around and it can go wherever I, I need it to go. So that's how you do that. Now it sounded complicated in the beginning, but it's actually pretty easy. So that's how you do that. Now you your layers do not need to be in order to have them be able to parent to each other. So I could put this brown drop all the way down here at the bottom and move it around and everything is still parented to it. Now if if I move my text down, everything will still be parented to the text, but if I try to like rotate around it, it's the other things are gonna come in front of the text instead of coming behind. So that's the reason why I have them in order. The last thing that I'd like to mention is that if I put a an effect on one of the on the parent, the other child's aren't go, children aren't going to get affected. So I'll just throw an effect on this brown drop, and I'll just do the let's do a fast blur. I'll just drag it over from here, and if I go to blur it, the other ones are not going to be blurred. So you have to put effects on each one. There we go. So that's uh, the intro to parenting. Fairly simple, um, not very complicated. Neat. Uh, sometimes people try to teach it and it's complicated. Hopefully I taught it and it was not complicated. So thanks for watching this one. Subscribe if you want to see more uh, videos on After Effects and upcoming the uh, other Adobe programs after I finish the After Effects series. So see you guys later. Have a good one.